so welcome guys in this video i'm going to be converting my dai cryptocurrency to naira right i'm going to show you how you can convert the money you make on metaphors to your bank account so the first thing you need is your trust wallet and obviously that's your trust wallet because that's where you have your money you've made money on metaphors and the next thing you need is binance app so I'll, i'm going to change this dai cryptocurrency to usdt the reason is that you can there's no dai uh, on polygon blockchain on binance so i'm going to swap the dai cryptocurrency to usdt now um you see the swap button at the right top right yes you click on it now for usdt at the top you want to change it right to your dai right so you type in dai oh obviously i think the dai is already there so i have to go back right but in your case you may see it you may need to type it there because i already have it here so i'm going to use see i have usdt and dai at the top but i want dai to be on top right so i'm going to click that arrow there so that it takes die up because i want to pay die and get usdt i'm swapping now so i'm going to enter the amount of usdt i want which is 50 dollars 50 usdt you can as well change it and put it up at the die or you do it this way okay so this is the quantity of die to require then you click on swap when you click on swap then it's going to process the transaction so hold on for it then you confirm the transaction enter your pin okay it then go back and refresh just keep refreshing if the transaction doesn't go immediately you can try it again oh yes obviously yes so the transaction has gone so that's why i have the usdt there you see there's a little drop 49.99 so i'm now i need to send this usdt to binance so what i need to do now is to go to my binance app and copy my usdt pos um, wallet address okay where i need to send it take note please it is um the usdt on the polygon blockchain you see it there so i will go to binance to copy um usdt wallet address but on the polygon blockchain on the polygon network so i open my binance go to wallet on wallet you see at the top there is a spot wallet at the top right you click on or you click on deposit when you click on deposit you see you search you type usdt in the search bar yes usdt pops up you click on it see the various network erc bnb you look for polygon because that's what um, usdt on polygon polygon network so you click on polygon then you click copy the copy button to copy the wallet address click on the copy button and once the wallet address is copied you can now go to trust wallet click on the copy button now go to trust wallet so on trust wallet now you click on the usdt click on send paste the recipient address there then since i'm sending everything i'm just going to click on max to select everything continue then wait for the transfer then confirm the transfer enter my pin and wait for it yes so i just can yep obviously it has gone so you just wait a few minutes you'll get it on your binance app you should get a notification telling you that it has been um you have received this on your binance app so i'm going to minimize right now and go to my binance app while i wait to receive it okay on binance it will arrive in your spot wallet c spot at the top right so you just want to keep refreshing refreshing it takes a few minutes to get here so keep refreshing until the money that you have sent lands here obviously you see the coins i have fantastic it has just arrived so this is usdt i have it there so the next thing you want to do is to transfer it to your funding wallet from spot you see funding there right transfer from so you you are transferring from spot to funding because that's where you have p2p so the transfer button that you see there yes you click on it then you are transferring from spot to funding funding is where you sell you can as well switch if you are doing spot to, uh, funding to spot but i want to do spot to funding where you have btc change it to usdt in the search then click on max so that it takes everything to your funding wallet confirm the transfer 
now the money has moved if you refresh you'll see everything has moved to funding wallet so i'll go to my funding wallet see i have the money in my funding wallet now you will click on p2p click on p2p when you click on p2p you see several uh, people who want to buy and sell so you click on the sell button because we want to sell now there are several tokens there usdt ptc but what we are selling is usdt so you leave it on usdt then you see the filter icon there at the right the right top right just below the narrow sign right you click yes that's a filter sign so you click on it just to um, so that you don't have to keep scrolling looking for somebody that wants to buy for that amount so you can type it um, $50 is around 30,000 naira. so I'll just put 30,000 naira there right just to guess bank transfer just within that range Nigeria I want people someone who is in Nigeria then I click on yes it will filter and give me all these set of people so you see the first person is Jezreel stores so Jezreel stores has done over a thousand trades and i like to do trade with people who have over 98 percent completion rate and you see the transaction limits from twenty thousand to over four hundred and something thousand so it means i can sell so i click sell button and i'm selling by crypto so you leave it on crypto i click on all for the quantity to select all the usdt right then i click on select a payment method to choose my account if you've not entered your account details you need to enter your account details here so once i've selected my account i will just wait for the buyer to pay into that account please ensure you wait to receive that amount in your bank account before you come back to click on anything yes i have received payment in my bank account i've confirmed it so and now i'm going to click on payment received tick that button see the icon there right it says i have received the correct payment right so i'm going to select it because i've received the money click on it then you see click on send code it'll send you a verification code so that you can confirm it once you receive the verification code paste it in there so i've received the verification code right on my other line so i paste it in there nine nine one five nine six then you click on submit as you click on submit the cryptocurrency will be released and with this you have successfully received your 31,110 in your bank account and you have sold congratulations